Brodsky is our next speaker. I'm Michael Brodsky, I'm a resident of Santa Monica. And it's the official policy of the city of Santa Monica adopted in the July 1981 and never rescinded that the airport should be closed as soon as possible. The city council is bound by this law, and you are all bound to uphold the law. The staff report supports continued use of the airport, and you should not, and by law cannot, approve that proposal. Staff wants more visioning. They say that there's mistrust in the community, and why? Because over and over again, the community speaks clearly with one voice. They want the airport closed. So, why aren't they, and why aren't you listening? What the staff wants is more time to convince people that there is an alternative. Staff is promoting the term green model airport. They should be ashamed of this and you should not be fooled. Mm -hmm. There is not a green airport alternative. The term green cannot be hijacked for the purposes of continuing to, uh, even a scaled down airport. A scaled down facility will still continue to deposit hundreds of tens of lead, lead carbon and particulate matter on the residents of Santa Monica and any, any educated definition of green cannot be used in this case. A scaled-down airport will continue to produce harmful effects of cardiovascular disease, cystic fibrosis, asthma, cancers, and continue to expose children to the dangers of lead. Private airplanes and private jets are highly inefficient and cannot be considered either sustainable or green. So look at the facts and don't confuse the facts. What is green has to be very clearly stated. So let's not get sidetracked on promoting and developing extra land next to the airport, some of the things that can clean up and uh, clean up the peripheral. We have to look at specifically um, the dead center where the toxic waste dump is, that is the airport, close the airport down, and create a real green use for this highly uh, wonderful property that we have here in Santa Monica. Thanks a lot.